How are you doing, Kelly Crowd? Today we're taking a break from the usual calisthenics progress diaries as we'll be going into the library and reviewing a book. This book, in fact, it's Overcoming Gravity by Stephen Lowe. You know what? No waffle. Cue the intro. I've managed to progress this far in my self-taught calisthenics journey and I'll continue to use them as an invaluable resource. I recently finished Overcoming Gravity, found it really valuable and wanted to give a quick overview on it. Because this is somebody else's work, I'm going to have to be respectful of the fact that they've put a lot of time and effort into the book, so I can't obviously divulge everything inside it. So I'm going to be breaking down this review into three parts. A quick summary of the book, a quick look into the pros and cons of the book, and then who I think this book is for, who should be reading it. Okay, let's dive into the summary. Overcoming Gravity labels itself as a systematic approach to gymnastics and bodyweight strength, and man does it deliver. This book is designed to tackle the question on how to build strength by leveraging your own body. And after establishing what strength is, it goes into great detail on everything. I'm talking about the principles of strength training and defining what strength actually is, understanding the role your central nervous system plays in skill work, periodization in sports, how to develop your own regime, including pre and rehabilitation work, progressions for different skills, and much, much more. It's 582 pages of straight up deep applicable information, and I can definitely see why it's been called the calisthenics Bible. But getting into the pros and the cons of this book, I want to start with the more negative side because there are five things that I've managed to strip out that I see as being downsides to this book and one of them is actually quite a big downside so let's get into those first. Starting with downside number one, the book's size. This book is huge. Now this may not be a big issue for many people, I in fact read a lot but most of what I read is fiction. So when this 582 page behemoth was delivered to my house it was actually quite intimidating for me to open the cover and get into it. Again, probably not an issue for people who are more into non-fiction reading than I am. So I'm going to swiftly move on to con number two, which is that it cannot be consumed as an audiobook. Speaking to some of the accessibility issues that I mentioned in the last point, a downside is that you cannot just listen to this book. I should say though that I think a book like this merits you writing your own notes alongside the copy in fact, half of the pages in my copy are dog-eared for me to refer back to later. But if audio is your preferred means of consuming books, then this may not be for you. The third con is that it assumes you've already got a decent knowledge around fitness and training already. The book is structured to be a systematic approach to body weight and gymnastics training. But if a newbie picked up this book on day one, I wouldn't be surprised if they were very confused. The first chapter of this book dives straight into talking about the said principle. So how your body adapts to the demands you place on it. Talk about throwing somebody into the deep end. There's a lot of bro science that is allowed to float around on the internet. And the reason for this is that it's so much easier to consume than a heavy, well-researched book. If we're to change the perception of fitness, we must make the right information, such as the contents of this book, as easily accessible as the crap information. So that's why I've highlighted this as a downside. The next point is that it assumes you are already quite proficient at body weight training. Really early on into the book, it recommends that untrained beginners focus on fundamental exercises and become proficient in them. Sounds logical. But even if we assume that all beginners know what these fundamental exercises are, which not all of them do, a couple of pages later, we have this page, which actually shows a table stating a list of beginner skills that are actually quite difficult to do. If I knew someone that could freehand stand, perform an advanced tucked back lever, do muscle ups and do L-sit dips, I would not be calling them a beginner. The reason why I place this as a con is that it risks alienating people who may find even these progressions a little bit out of their reach. The fifth and final flaw for me in the book is the lack of the focus it places on the mentality of bodyweight training. Most people train with a specific goal in mind. And with weight training, that goal is generally achieved in a pretty linear fashion. For example, if your goal is to deadlift 100 kilos, 
First you start by getting used to the deadlift movement, then you may add a bar, then you may add 10 kilos, and then 20, and then 30, all the way until you can actually achieve your deadlift goal of 100 kilograms. Yeah, you may change it up by doing slow reps or fast reps or higher volumes or bigger breaks, but fundamentally you're still doing the deadlift movement pattern. Now, if your goal is to planche or even handstand, you must first deal with the fact that this goal may not be realized for many months or even years. And instead, you'll have to deal with doing basic versions of the thing you're looking to learn. This can take a huge toll on an athlete mentally. And despite taking a lot of time and dedicating a lot of chapters to being mechanically aware of what's going on in your body, the book, in my opinion, doesn't do enough to address the whole mindset approach to body weight training. Now, with all those negatives out of the way, let's focus on the positives. And there's quite a few, so I've managed to narrow it down to three aspects. The first is it deals with the plateau problem. One of the biggest issues seen with intermediate calisthenics athletes is not knowing how to move up a skill level and hitting a plateau and not knowing how to get past it. The principles, frameworks and general ideas in this book will literally help you break through those plateaus in a structured way that's been proven to work with real gymnastics and bodyweight athletes. The second pro is this book does not spoon feed you. This book was clearly written to educate people not to give people a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to achieve every single calisthenics movement. So what you won't find in here is a very cookie cutter regime on how to achieve, say for example, the front lever. Instead, what you'll find is a breakdown of the principles that you can use to build strength overall and then apply it to different skills and become better at body weight training as a whole. Third is there are heaps of value in this book. One of the downsides I mentioned earlier was how big this book is. Well, rest assured that it's not 582 pages of nonsense on every page there is applicable information that will help you become a better athlete. So pros and cons out of the way, let's get into who should and shouldn't be reading this book. Starting with who shouldn't. I personally think that beginners who have very little knowledge on fitness in general should not be reading this book. My advice for those people is to just start somewhere and see what you like. Because calisthenics is so complicated, you can get bogged down with the analysis paralysis, but just start somewhere. Which brings me on to the next one, which is people who aren't that into calisthenics. This book is a particularly heavy read, and if you're not that big on calisthenics, or you're looking for a book to help you decide on whether or not calisthenics is for you, you'll just be wasting your time and money by buying this book, because those questions won't be answered for you. Moving on to who should read this book, the calisthenics obsessed athletes. These are people who are trying to get better at calisthenics and develop strength through these skills. They will get a lot of value from this book. Also, people who want a scientific and proven way to develop their skills. In this book, you'll find training techniques recommended by real gymnasts and bodyweight athletes. All in all, this is a great book. It definitely makes the bookshelf. And I genuinely think I've become a better athlete by applying the information in this book. If you want to get yourself a copy, I've left a link down in the description below. And if you would like to be part of the helpful and motivating community that we've got here at Cali to the Crowd, then be sure to smash the subscribe button and ring the bell as well and I'll see you guys in the next video.